Previously on Xenoblade Chronicles. Yes, yeah, got some heavy gloves from finally. Boom! Oh, what the hell? Those are the heavy gloves? That doesn't match at all with the rest of the armor. Look at this. Look how goofy Ryan looks at us right now. He looks like a little porcupine. God damn it. Why don't none of the colors of this shit match? I just wanted to look cool. It just looks so weird. My father was a pine cone, he was. We know, Ryan, we know. And now back to El Monado. Sneako B, back with some more Xenoblade Chronicles. Last episode, LP Generator X said, And so, Shulk and Fiora were never seen again. The group was devastated. However, one member rose to the challenge when all others failed. Ricky the Heropon took the role of main character. He took the legendary Nopomonado and led the party back to Bionis. The Nopom Bionis awoke and Heropon smashed the Mechonis. Finally, Ricky cleared his debt. Hey! To the hero pod, baby. The end. <laughs> oh my god, that gave me such a good fucking laugh. And it's for that reason, LP Generator X, you are our comment of the day. Yes, that's right. We now have comments of the days, guys. It's a new segment brought to you by freaking Patreon for all the support you guys have shown me there. That was one of the uh, the first t first uh, of the goals. As well as, we also have now the return of uh, Foul Moments with Bernie. So if you stick around all the way to the end of the video, you'll get a cute little moment with Bernie. I don't know if I'll do that every single episode, but I will at least do it a good number of the time. The comment of the day, though, that will be in every episode thing. So, but I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be a nice uh, little uh, time because you guys leave a lot of great comments and it'll give me a chance to put the spotlight on some really, really, some really funny or interesting comments that you guys leave. And just so you guys know, I'm, I'm picking out ones that I, I'm not necessarily like hilarious or something. I also will pick out ones that are interesting lore or something like that. I don't know. Just kind of depends. But I'll pick out one and I'll try to pick out a different commenters each video. So, but anyway, so look forward to that. But when we last left off, we finally defeated Metal Face. And yes, you guys did tell me that's that's the end of Metal Face. We're, we is fucking done. Okay. I was thinking if he managed to come back after that, after getting fucking skewered, then knocked off the edge of a cliff and exploded. <laughs> that would have been a bit of a stretch. We then went and found Fiora, only to find that she had no control over the mech that she was in. She was under control by the big boss guy. Our Fiora managed uh, to push him back. Oh yeah, that's right. He activated a power that actually deactivated the Monado too, which was kind of funky. But then she did something that seemed to reactivate it, and then and then we fell off the edge, and then Shulk, the fucking psycho he was, jumped off after her. So I don't know what. How the fuck are we supposed to survive this part? I Pretty sure if we fell in the ocean, it would not be a soft fall. <laughs> that would definitely kill us, okay? Let's just teleport us back to the top and we pretend it never happened. <laughs> like all the other times I accidentally fell off the edge of the, the map. But yes, you guys told me some important things. Apparently this next area that we end up in, um, it is important that I start getting some of these side quests because uh, we are reaching the cutoff point for both Sword Valley and Galahad Fortress. I think you guys said like the area after the next area is like the cutoff point for that. Like I won't be able to come back to Sword Valley or Galahad. Like a few areas after that is the cutoff point for uh, Alchemoth. So, okay. So I'll probably have to start uh, tackling those then. Another interesting point I saw you guys bring up was when you were talking about like uh, the scene where Shulk stops Dumban from uh, killing Mumkar. And I, I was pretty conflicted about that scene myself, and I, I saw that apparently that was pretty common. A lot of people get pretty conflicted about that, but when you sort of dissected it, it didn't end up making a bit of sense. Uh, in that Shulk and the group, they don't really know for certain that Mumkar isn't also being affected in some way by what the Mechon have done to him, right? Like some of you even point out that, I mean, the Mumkar we know, yeah, he was a he was a cowardly piece of shit. And he was definitely gonna turn on like Dumban and stuff, but would he really turn on the entire like Homs race, you know? Would he be a warrior like fighting in the front lines if he didn't at least have like some shred of decency of wanting to protect the his loved ones? So it seems clear that somehow, so, like maybe he's also being uh, um, affected in some way, like tainted with power or something. That, that it isn't, he isn't fully himself anymore. And if that's the case, then what would stop them from going after Fiora, who clearly isn't herself anymore either, right? That's a good point. I, I really like that argument, and I'm glad you guys brought that up, because I, I was kind of conflicted. I was like, man, Munkar is kind of a garbage person, though, all right? He deserves to die. But apparently a lot of other people also sort of feel like, like, 
Does he have a right to stop Dumb Ban? It also shows that Dumb Ban does, he's just the cool, slick dude we know. He can also really give in to his emotions and be like, you know what? Fuck, I, lo I love when Shulk's like, are you really okay with killing Hobbs? And Dumb Ban's like, yes! <laughs> are you kidding me? It's fucking Mumcar! Kill that shit! Also, I, I saw a few guys request that I try to uh, maybe take control of uh, Ryan and Charla a bit since I haven't really done that in a while. Okay, yeah, I guess sure I can do that. All right, so let's time to see how the hell we can manage to survive this. Oh, right, and you also told me I should apparently not look at the map until I get to the first landmark in this next area I'm in. Because apparently if I look at the map, it'll be, it'll kind of spoil where I am, so. Okay, does that mean we will not be in the middle of the ocean? I'll be saved by a giant whale friend who has a city on its back. It's been a long time. Oh. Since I last had this dream. Oh, look, a little baby shark. I reached out for a piece of scrap metal. Whoa. And then I fell. Into the ground. He's watching himself. Whoa, what the hell? Was I... Was I... dreaming? Uh. Vera! Is that her over there? What's that? Wreckage Beach. Oh, I found a landmark. Time to check the map. <laughs> it probably didn't mean that. It looked like I was in a hand or something, didn't it? Yeah, look at it. Like big claw fingers or something. Is it the hand of one of these guys or something? Was it cut off? Seriously, though, how the, how the dicks am I fucking alive? Yeah, that's Fiora's thing. Is she still in there? Fiora. Oh, God, she is still in there. Fiora. Oh, Fiora, you put on some weight. Fiora. She's still breathing. Wake up. <sighs> Come on. Wake up. <sighs> she needs water. But not that water over there. That's salty. Find a way to help her. Investigate the beach and get some water for Fiora. Okay. Hey, we got uh Hop to Heart over here. I need to be even stronger. Oh, yeah, I'm so strong! <laughs> Fior, I need to be even stronger to carry this water to you. Thank God there was a furnace nearby too. Or th or thermos. Oh, 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 yeah, get in there, shot. <laughs> Fiora's using her tongue. Fiora, 
You were awake. Okay, you got me! I was actually awake the whole time! I was just waiting for you to do that! <laughs> oh, Fiora. Everyone's just standing there laughing behind me like, You guys! Oh, you just got punked, choke. But seriously, that was awesome. Um... Do you remember? My name is Sh Oh! Oh, I can't believe it. My first kiss. Oh! You do remember me. Fiora. Of course I do. Shulk. Oh. <sighs> oh, that's so sweet. Yay! Fiora's back! Oh my god! Look at you! I... Got little wings, too. I never too. forgot you or the others. Then... Why? Because... I wasn't me anymore. I wanted to call out, but I couldn't. What do you mean? When it happened. When Colony 9 was attacked by the Mekon. Oh god, I can't wait to hear this ex explanation. Okay, before I, before I say that, though, I, I, you can hear, though, that, like, the difference in voice. This is very clearly Fiora, but the other woman that was talking, while still her same voice actress, was putting on a different one, so... Which was smart, because that, then it would probably have been a lot easier to figure out that that was Fiora. I wasn't actually ripped to bits. I thought I had died. I felt the Mechon's claw rip through me. I couldn't remember anything. There was no sound, no light, no pain. When I came round, I had the body of a machine. And it felt like there was someone inside me. That's it? Is that the detail you're gonna go into? They just brought you there, back there, I guess? Some for a little Someone more. Else. The one who was controlling the Mechon you were in. Yes, that voice. But I could still see and hear. I was there all the time. Except uh, I had no control over my body, and I couldn't talk. That's why it seemed like you didn't recognize us. Yes. Inside my heart, I was crying out desperately. But you didn't hear me. Nobody did. We always believed it was you. It's okay. You don't have to say that. I know it would have confused me. <laughs> but the person inside you, do you know who it was? No. I heard her voice when she spoke, but I didn't know what she was thinking. There was something she urgently needed to do. I understood that much. What do you think happened to her? Maybe she's sleeping. Or maybe she's trapped like I was. I hope she stays trapped, hijacking your body, treating it like it's her own. I, I guess. I say good riddance, and let that be the end of it. Um, Shulk, I don't think she's totally to blame. Why not? She needed my body for something. I don't know what it was. I just know it was important. I want to help. Why would you? I knew she was using my body. But I didn't hate her for it. She was kind. She was taking care of my body. I could feel it. Really? You can yeah. feel it? <laughs> and she did everything she could to protect you. Oh. So, back when we were fighting... Against Egil, she knew what I wanted to do, and did it for me. So, I want to help her if I can. Please, Shulk. All right. Then we'll do everything we can to find out what she was trying to do. Hmm. Thank you. Now, where were we? <laughs> oh, get in there! Welcome back, Fiora. Oh, yeah. Oh, do I'm it! Glad to be here. 
Oh, 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 it's so fucking sweet. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad she came back. What do we do now? We have to find the others. I know they're alive. I can feel it. I can feel Everyone's it. Everyone's going to be surprised when they see you. Everyone being? Ryan, Dunban, and there are a few others we met along the way. Sharla, Ricky, and Melia. I just know you're going to like them. It looks like you've been through a lot as well. <laughs> Except maybe Melia. Yeah. But nothing's going to separate us now. Come on. Let's start searching. She says you're going to like rejoin our party again? Yeah, she is. Ah. Oh. And now our cute little girl is a little robot too. <laughs> She's our own little Igus. Have become separated confusion. Find your friends. Wow. Fiora 2! <laughs> wow, okay, I'm actually curious to see if her moves... So, what did she have before? Butterfly step, right. Power smash. Be something totally different. No. Oh yeah, cannon drones! So her body... Dior, how do, you, how do you go to the bathroom anymore? I, I don't know, I haven't actually got that far yet. <laughs> yeah, like, is there... Other than her face? Is that the only thing that's even flesh and blood anymore? My talent all changes depending on what foot equ equipment I'm wearing. Oh, really? Okay. Take cannon drones. It does a lot of damage to enemies directly in, directly in my line of sight. My talent gauge fills up and I auto attack. My combat style changes when I attach different equipment. Oh, wow, okay. Ether equipment improves my ether, ether attack and defense. Attack equipment improves physical, speed improves agility, power puts physical defense in top form. Why not try a different combination and see what I can do? I've always been proud of my attack power. You could say it runs in the family. <laughs> you said it. If anyone can damage Mechon without needing to use enchant, it's it's you. I couldn't ask for a better robotic sister. <laughs> I daze opponents with cross impact and then hit them with spear blade for massive damage. Sparring's not bad. Ryan and I will topple the enemy. Then you can strike with your combo. It's great to have you back, Fiora. Cannon drone says... Ether attributes, so it's handy when physical attacks don't work. Healing energy cures deep bus and all can also restore HP. Oh my god, really? Wow, you're like a little bit of everything, aren't you? Well, Fiora, I'm rather envious. For more reasons than one. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> and Shaw is here too! <laughs> oh my god, okay. Ah, uh, Fiora's so cute. And she's a little robot now. Oh my god. Your whole level behind us, though, Fiora. Mechanic swords. Oh, look at that! My dagger's got a bit of an upgrade! Oh. Ether goggles. I got gyms built into them. Oh, she has special equipment. Yeah, Mechanic. Fortunately, we don't have any other boots right now, so we won't really be able to test anything out, but. Wow, yeah. I got a bunch of really powerful stuff on you. You got strong ether and strength. Okay, what kind of skills you got? You got cannon drones one. Drones form a cannon, unleashing a large beam in a straight line. God, that does a lot of damage. That's ether damage. Healing energy. So it's a, it's an aura. Removes debuffs and creates a regenerative or regenerate aura. Oh, so wait, she only, oh, she only does it to herself. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. What? She only has 635 AP. Are you serious? That's it? Not for all the, what about all the levels you missed? That's weird. All the other characters I've gotten so far always had like other stuff to uh, to balance that back out again. Like like oh, here's all the AP that uh, they they earned if they were like level one or you had them when you started, right? But she starts off with barely any AP for me to spend. I mean, she's gonna have a, lo a lot of catching up to do. Uh, I suppose the on the bright side, I mean, she'll be getting a lot of AP from me finding stuff, right? And all the stuff early on is going to be pretty cheap. Double blade. Attacking from behind will inflict a large amount of damage. Okay, wow! Times three, three times the damage. That's nice. Um, heavy damage on enemies suffering topples. Spear blade. Okay. More, three times more damage. Jesus, okay. Cross impact. And a kick attack and a cross formation inflicting days. Produce a special food that inflicts paralysis. Zero gravity. Lock on. Locks fewer sights onto a single enemy creating an aura of focus i guess the benefit of that is that if someone else uses a lock on on her she can't uh 
it, it won't work, I, I guess, right? Is that what the benefit of that is? I mean, it does give you the critical hit rate up. And damage fills talent gauge. Um, ether drain, special feed that absorbs ether. Uh, that sounds pretty nice. Reduces targets ether, ether up. Bonus for extra enemies. Not sure exactly what that means. Double wind, a dual bladed outward slash striking enemies in front. Okay. Magstorm, release an ether wave striking all in range. Flicks days on Mechon, but only on Mechon. Okay. Me Mechon suffering topple, so even more specific. Oh, and I wanted that over this one that can do it to anybody. I guess this could hit more people though, potentially. Uh, striking it, shutdown, striking enemy inflicting sleep. Mechon hit, clears buffs and debuffs. Uh, just got air fang, inflicting break. Second, <laughs> second gear? What am I, Luffy? Tense all the muscles in the body, increasing physical arts damage. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's definitely one I want to have. All right, let's go find our our friends. Jifum Beach. Oh, we've got mean crabs out here. What? You've got crabs, Shulk? No, no, I mean the crabs on the on the on the beach. No, I've I've I've. I've been, I've been faithful. I've been waiting for you, Fiora. Even though I, I'm not really quite sure how we're gonna be able to do it anymore. But that, that's all right. Well, I'll figure something out. I'll figure out a way to get my USB in your port. Oh, Shulk, you always know the right thing to say to me. Transformer area. Okay, I think it's probably safe to open the map, right? It looks to me like we're on one of the hands. Yeah, fall, fallen arm. So one of the, uh, I don't know if it's the Mechon or the Bionis. One of their, oh. Okay, we're doing this. Um, looks like one of their hands. Is off. We can definitely do this. We can definitely do this. Double, Double Sunday. One, two, buckle my shoe. I'm getting hit. Are you feeling it, Fiora? I know I am. Oh God. Okay, I think we're gonna need to run, guys. Gonna need to run. Make a run for it. Dead. <laughs> I found a star cute. Hello. Shulk. Fiora. What's wrong? My oil's leaking. Sorry. My body feels a bit strange. I think I just need to rest. I'm sorry. It's okay. We can take a break here. So I need to ask, was there a reason why the Mechonist gave, gave you metal boobs? <laughs> yeah, I was wondering about that too, actually. After the fortress, where did the others all end up? I guess they didn't fall in with us, or, or did they? Oh my god, my Monado's glowing! Do you know what I mean? The Monado's light is fluctuating. That Mechon really messed it up. But still, I have to protect Fiora. Shulk, can't you sleep? Sorry. Did I wake you? No. It's okay. I slept really well. You want to eat? You must be hungry. No thanks. But I'd like some water. Okay. You should eat. Even if you're not hungry. You need to get your strength back. No, I'm fine. This body has its uses. I never need to eat. I never get hungry. Oh, okay. I just run on water. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cow. I prefer my old body. But this one has some advantages. The look on his shock's face. Shock. You can leave me. It's okay. What? I mean, look at me, Shulk. This body is a Mechon body. 
So I should live here on Maconis. This is where I belong. You don't have to do that. The Fiora you knew is dead. Just think of it like that. It's for the best. But I can see it's not true. I mean, you're right here. I'll never forget how I felt when I thought I'd lost you back at the colony. I should have done something. I thought if only I had the power to save you. Shulk. No. No more regrets. I will protect you. Besides, there's someone else inside your head. We can't leave her there. Uh, I guess not. Oh! Hey! We're in the no. middle of something here! No! Not now! Shulk! Let me... Fiora! Right. Come on, Manada. Don't let me down. The Monado bends to your will. No! Get out of my head, Albus! I won't let you take her from me! This time, I will protect Fiora! Her yes. Power! Light. I can do this. That's right, get the crap out of here. I will not let you take the Wafu away from me! Not again! Time to die! Ow! Ah! 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 That's it. Get out of my dumb demon way, boom! Behold the power of the Monado. Behold the power to kick ass! Ah! The power to defend all Wafus everywhere! It is mine! The Monado. It worked, but I feel worse than before. Whatever he did to the Monado is What's that sound? Oh no. We're surrounded. Hi there! Oh! Ride time! No, you can't die, you silly pine cone! Oh. Where are we? Oh, Phil Carr hungry! Charlotte, go make me a sandwich! You're up then. Sharla! Sharla? Jump around perspectives here, I guess. What happened to us? I don't know. I've only just come round. Where are the others? I look for them, but they're nowhere to be seen. Oh. Ryan. Um, thanks. Huh? For protecting me back there. Yeah. It got rough, but at least you got out safe. What is it? Look at me. I'm useless. Can't even keep a promise. I promised Fiora I'd look after Shulk. Stupid. You promised to protect the guy who protects you. Am I missing something? <laughs> In the old days, Shulk was kind of frail. You know, like a little bunny that gets bossed <laughs> around by the other colony animals. Little it was bunny he used to be there to save him. That's why I promised Fiora. But now look at me. Look at my Mine. outfit. He's stronger now. And not just because he's got the Monado. I've done all I can to help him. He doesn't need me. That's not the Rhine I know. Do you remember Colony 6? Yeah. The Mekon were always on the doorstep of our home, the colony. Thinking about it, I realized they were after the ether underneath it. Yeah, I suppose so. If they could stockpile energy from there, they could get to any part of Bionis. The Colony 6 Defense Force suffered its fair share of pain. And not just physical. Hmm. Friends and family. Alive one day, gone the next. It all became so normal. You end up wondering how you can possibly make a difference when war is so futile. 
I'm not the only one who felt like that sometimes, but nobody ever gave up. And you know why? Because you were strong? We had no choice but to be strong. Everybody had someone to protect. The moment you looked away, you'd lose everyone you loved. So we had to keep looking straight ahead. We couldn't stop fighting. Man, that's tough. Puts my problems into perspective. I suppose I should get back to being Ryan. Don't go doubting yourself, even if things get tough. You're right. There'll be plenty of time to stare at my feet when I'm old and crooked. Get it? I get it. So now what? We go looking for Shulk and Fiora. I might be like a third wheel, but I can still lug around the heavy stuff. Finally! That's the Rhine I know. That's the Rhine time I knew! Um, back there. Were you talking about that guy, Gado? Gado? Just about him. Why do you ask? Oh, nothing. Just, you know, <laughs> seems like tough competition for a guy like me. Oh. <laughs> Rhine. Oh! Oh my god, everyone's getting some love making! Except for Dumban, because he's everybody's Do you love think maker. And the others are okay. Of course they are. They wouldn't die from something like that. <laughs> I'm just imagining. I imagine Dumban's gonna wake up and he looks over. He's gonna be like, "Melia, are you there?" <laughs> no, it's hit upon Ricky. Ah, oh, damn it! I got paired with Ricky. <laughs> damn. Ricky, love you, Dumban. Shut up, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> Back to your old self, I see. Right, we better get looking. Charlie, you think you're about, like, just inches away from a little bit of a nipple slip there. Power pipe ruins. Okay, how close are we to... Okay, yeah, we're in the ballpark. I can't teleport, though. Well, hey, guys, those of you who want me to control Ryan and Charla, you're getting your wish. Right from the get-go. Do-do-do-do-do. Star cute. Ice Ether gear. Bright ice crystal. There, I was like, I I'm thinking we had to be hitting... Like level four gyms sometime soon here. Ali oh that's right! Ali oop! <laughs> ah, Ron with the second best exclamation when he jumps. Oh! Oh my god! Guys! Fiora's back! Does she do her awesome jumping sounds? Oh, I've gotta test it out! I should have done that immediately when I got her back at my party. <laughs> Man, she now she really has a reason to grunt with that big heavy body of hers. What's that sound? Oh my god, oh, I just realized that's, that's my like I got like assless chaps on. Seriously, you can see my butt cheeks. Up ahead. Dun 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 See look at that. Woo! Oh, there we go. Shulk! Ryan! I got your back! We'll turn them into scrap! Right! Alright! Run time! Every day is run time! You want a piece of me, bitch? Look at me! Look what I can do! Oh, I love seeing the Monado in action! It's so cool! Oh my god! Fucking damage, yes! Lariat! You said it, Charla. We can definitely do this! Good to see you. I knew you'd make it, Shulk. Thanks to you. Ryan! <gasps> Ryan, it's you! Oh my god. Ryan's gonna Fiora. break the fuck down. She remembers us. <laughs> yeah. She's been through a lot. I can see. <laughs> wow. Oh, shock! <laughs> Ryan, get off me! If only we could find Dunban. Yeah, he'll be blubbering at the sight of us. <laughs> I don't think he'd ever cry in front of you two. So he does cry. <laughs> and no one's watching. Yep. He's always been like that. He's a big softy, but he hates anyone seeing it. Shut up, Fiora! God! Even you? Nope. I don't believe it. <laughs> those two god, those two have a man crush on Dunban. Oh, I'm okay. I want to see my brother. Let's go, Shulk.
If you can't walk, I'll carry you. I'm much heavier now. I've been pumping my guns. Yeah. You see this armor here? That's right. I'm basically a machine I can myself. See. Ryan, you really looked after Shulk for me. I wanted to, but it feels more like he's the one who's been protecting me. That's not true. It's okay. I know it, you know it. I'm not here to protect you anymore. But you are here for something. Yeah. What I did just now. It don't matter how strong you get. You ain't got eyes in the back of your head. So I've got your back. Ryan, you... Ryan, you're like a whole new person. What do you mean by that? I mean, it's good you've become so dependable. Was I that undependable before? <laughs> Take it as a compliment. Ha! You haven't changed a bit. What would we do without you? <laughs> right, let's go. You want to see my brother cry, don't you? <laughs> yes! Yeah, wouldn't miss it. Ah. Uh, don't cry in front of Shulk and Ryan. They'll just laugh at you. Charlotte, get out of here! <laughs> I'll, put it, I'll play with her later, but I, I want to see Fiora's stuff. Oh, I, but we gotta switch her in. Come on, baby! Give it to me, Fiora. Give it to me. Yes! Oh, eh, eh. oh yes! Oh, Fiora, I missed you so much! This is, I missed you the most right here. Oh, still got the best jumping sounds out of everyone in the group. By a fucking mile. Oh, love it. Just, ah. Oh. Miss you so much for your and you and your amazing jumping sounds. Is that is that really it? Is that is that all I've become? Yeah, pretty much that's about all I remember about you. God damn it, guys! Fifth pulse zone. Hey, we have some strong guys down there. Just watch out! Okay. Okay. Let's go. Get ready to die. This one's mine. This one's Do mine. Do your best. Ain't this powering up? Double blade. Double blade. Double Sunday! Let's try this. Oh my god! She fires a beam right from her boobs. Final flash! Second gear. Oh god! Hello, it's me, Daddy Dunban. The need six silver. Intel fibers to restore colony six commerce. It's less than the eight of the Juju asked us to collect. Got eight, motherfucker. Gonna need 35 billion of these. Got some strong as shit lizards down there. Oh god! Feel the weight of your existence! Your energy belongs to me! Ah! Don't be sad, Ryan. Oh fuck, that's this isn't good. Actually, we are, we're in trouble. We're gonna die. Dead. Okay, I better run now, cause I'm about to die. I can't get up. Better run, girl. Don't flip your daggers around when you're this close to death. Ah! Move. Man, what a bunch of, of bonnets! Like oh, just like the old days, guys. Hey, <laughs> that one intel's like, I don't want any of that. Damn right you don't. Better keep walking, bitch. Radio Carpia. Oh my god. Uh, ow. Got a whole bunch of heart to hearts here. <laughs> Ow! Whoa! <laughs> Show cry! Where did you come from? What is it? I can hear something. What? I can't hear anything. Maybe our sense of hearing isn't strong enough. Low sounds. More than one. Watch out! Something's here! Uh oh. Uh, the fuck was that? Oh, meanwhile, 
I got stuck with fucking Ricky. Oh! Friends, stop for Ricky. For stop for Ricky. Oh, Ricky very hungry, and Ricky sleepy. God damn it, Ricky! If you say that one more fucking time. <laughs> If Ricky not rest now, Ricky not keep going. Hmm. Well, we can't have that, can we? We'll rest here before going any further. Melia, do you need to rest? I am fine. Good. Break time. Damn, that was fast. Hmm. What's this? Here upon Ricky, have big fight with fish. Ricky win. Grilled fish tastes yum yum. Ah, dum dum eat too. I thought you said you couldn't move if you didn't rest. <laughs> oh, Ricky very tired, but Ricky very hungry too. <laughs> Ricky <laughs> kill anything get in way. Of you. Oh, Ricky not understand dum dum. Don't try to hide it. You realized Melia was lagging behind. Uh. She would never admit how tired she was. That's the real reason you ask. Ah, uh, Daddy Ricky too. This is double the daddy right here, guys. Thought you said I could have a bite. Done, done too mm. slow. Now that's good fish. Even in this strange place, at least the fish tastes like it should. Ricky glad dun dun like yum yum fish. Yeah, thank you. Dun dun yum yum. Millie is tired, but Ricky tired too. And dun dun not look happy. What's this? Am I that transparent? Ricky want to hear dun dun story. <laughs> Ricky listen carefully. For Ricky is the hero bond. I'm not sure what that's got to do with it. Well, seeing as you're here, I'll tell you. <laughs> tell me bedtime story, Daddy Dun Dun! <laughs> yeah! Ricky, listen. <laughs> I have a sister. Her name is Fiora. Ricky, no. She wears silver armor. Shulk look everywhere for her. Indeed. Shulk and Fiora, everyone knows they like each other. But they're just not ready, I suppose. They're the perfect match, but if they don't hurry up and tell each other... Even Ricky know that. What is this? Some kind of shonen manga? God damn it! Hurry up, you two! I suppose everyone does. But now Fiora has become... something else. She forget Shulk. She forget Dundun, too. She did. But Shulk won't give up that easily. Knowing that he's out there looking for her fills me with hope. I just wish I was there with him. Dundun, take care of them. Hmm? Dundun watch over Shulk. Dundun watch over Fiora. That is all a Daddy Pawn can do. <laughs> yes. Ricky make mistake. Dundun not Daddy Pawn. Well, I am her older brother. <laughs> are, are you kidding me? Ricky, I'm as I'm more daddy than you'll ever be. Are you are you challenge Ricky to Daddy Pawn off? <laughs> Bitch, bring it on! <laughs> Melia gets up. Guys! Guys! God, you're both daddies, Jesus! But just like Daddy Pon, watching <laughs> over family. Same watch over. Dun Dun do what he must. Dun Dun. Uh, who would have thought it? I never imagined I'd be getting such advice from you. Ricky have big family of little Pon. Lots of babies. Pays and say goodbye to many little Pon. Ricky know some things. You can say that again. I had you all wrong. <laughs> 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 Ricky, tap the Ricky dance! <laughs> oh my god, that was awesome. This game's fucking awesome. <laughs> yes, yes, Ricky, I've seen your dance it enough. Look like the others are here. Unfortunate. I hope everyone's safe. Everyone's safe. Everyone's strong. Ricky is right. It is simply a matter of when we will happen across them. Everyone landed in the same area. They have to be around here somewhere. Friends, look here. Ricky oh? find it yesterday when Ricky goes scouting. Ah. I wonder where this pipe leads. Go, go. 
Ricky has feeling Shulk and friends are on other side. Feeling? Well, I'm willing to give your knock-on instinct a try. As am I. The pipe it is. All right. Inlet Beach. Ricky, how the hell do you have more HP than I do? It's like Ricky telling you, Dun Dun. Ricky Ultimate Daddy Pon. God damn. Your daddy skills are not to be uh. underestimated, clearly. Uh. 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 Ooh, a spicy pipea. So we gotta. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Heart to heart. Ricky and Melia. Alright. Up the half pipe here. Whoa, look at that thing. Is that thing alive? Oh, guys, a pterodactyl, too. It's Clavia Adactyl. It's a funky little area. It's like a city right in the middle of this. Sure looks that way. Hidden Machina Village. Yeah, it is. The machine people, who hopefully won't kill us. A village in a place like this. Malia! Shunk! Guys! <sighs> You're all right. <laughs> <Ooh>. Yeah. <laughs> And we found Fiora. Dunban. Runs over there like cry. Come on, man. Fiora. Do you remember me? Mm hmm. Sorry if I made you worry. It's all right. I'm just so glad you're alive. Aw. Oh, dear brother. Shulk, is that your childhood friend? <laughs> oh man, Melia get, getting salty! Is that your friend? No, she's more than that. God damn it! Yeah. I need to find a wrench. Oh, she Congratulations. is. Congratulations. Oh. She's safe. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> you see Charlotte behind Shulk like, Oh, sorry! <laughs> sorry, Melia! But how did you all get here? And what is this place anyway? <gasps> uh. Oh my god! These people helped us. Huh? This is their home. What are they? Your surprise is understandable. We are the Machina. Oh. The people of Mekonis. Uh. Oh. Wait. What? Machina? You mean... machine people? So, kind of like what Fiora is, then? Oh. You look as if you have many questions. But please, take a look around our village first. We will talk after that. I will be waiting in front of the building we call Junks. Because it's actually Junk. <laughs> Very fitting name, how about that? Okay! He didn't mock in a village. Down in the water. I have a feeling this might be the fifth and final location I need for my, uh, found everyone, they're all safe. Uh, this thing, the affinity chart. I won't know until I find somebody with a name here. Do you have a name? Nope. Do you know someone called Eyes? He's always roaming around outside the village. He's too nice for his own good. He worries so much about Ego. Really? Hmm. Digit 5 Beach is a great place to gather pods. They wash up on the shore. But going around Digit 1 crevice, crevice is pretty dangerous. Lots of mecha on, far too strong for me to beat. So I stay right around here, safe and sound. But I can't land in the water or I will... Ah! Short circuit! Oh my god, whoa! That was two points really close to each other. Oh, there's a name! Yes. Neonic. What do you think of the fallen arm? I look at it and it makes me feel sad and lonely. Not sure why. It just feels. I just feel that way. Uh. Yup, hidden village. And behold, the trifecta. Oh, the five vector of areas. Interesting. So we're actually going to be making pals with the, uh. The Mekon people. Hi there. Shilt. <laughs> Hi there. I used to run a shop at the capital. It was really successful. There's just no need for a shop like that. 
The one I had. It's to be expected, but with less people living here. He has a dream. Living by picking up junk that washed up shore. I'll run a shop one day. Yeah, I'll invite you to Colony 6 or something. Rizaka. I've got an older sister. I honestly can't compare to her. She's beautiful, composed. Basically, she's the perfect sister. Hey, we got a shop here, which means you probably got some skill books for my girl Fiora here. Don't you lie to me. Hey, I got some sparrow blades and also murder knives. <laughs> Let's get some murder knives. Terrifying blades of death. Actually, these have no slots to equip gyms on, so they're not worth getting. Aggro down four. Reduce scatter game when healing or ca attacking by 14%. Oh, okay, cool. God damn, these are expensive. <laughs> Ricky is angry! Oh, hey, they got mech on uh, damaging stuff as well. Machina stuff. Machina staff and garter and so on. All right, well, this looks like this is probably our full party then, isn't it? Seeing as our reserves now fill up, like, the perfectly the right side of the screen here. Oh, hey, she learned reflection. A special ether barrier that causes attacks to rebound on the enemy. Can now reflect talent on it. Reflection time, five. That's cool, so that's, uh, sort of like shulks, I guess. Or maybe a lesser form of it, I'm not sure. By the way, you guys recommended that I probably just take off the, the healing, uh, summon aqua. Because the regeneration on it really becomes kind of negligible after a while. Yeah, 65 HP. I, for some reason, thought it was a percentage that it healed you by, but no. If it's, if it's a solid number, like 65, out of the, the massive HP we have, it's it's nothing. Oh, hey, she's got a new another new one. Power effect. An aura that excites elementals, boosting the range of their effects. Effect range times two. That, so that means just in, increases how far away you can use an ability. I don't know, I mean, she already use it from pretty far away. Unless it means how long the ability lasts or how strong it is, but I don't think that's what it means. But yeah, the Summon Earth one apparently is pretty good. I kind of had a feeling it might be just because it's already sort of showing that the, the poison uh, and damage over time ones can have a big effect. All right, let's have a look at uh, Fiora's skills here. So Zeal, did I, I can't remember, did we see this before? I think we probably did or, well, no. I actually, I don't think that this was unlocked when we had her, but she's already, but I don't know, she's already got this one unlocked though. I'm pretty sure that was, and we got that already. I, I, I don't know. I can't, I can't remember. It's been so long. Increased block rate when HP is at half. Rarely grants haste buff at start of battle. Increase, increases EXP warded from battle. 20%? Fuck yeah. Reduce either damage taken. Grants haste buff to the party after burst affinity. Okay. Allows special armor from Mechanist to be equipped. Oh, interesting. So I could add that to everybody else, too. Uh, increases counterattack rate when HP is at half. Increases amount of HP restored when revived. Increases damage of hit critical hits. Fills two party gauges if two allies are incapacitated. Oh, wow, okay, that's actually pretty nice. Assuring I can uh, revive somebody. Which is the last one standing. Uh, grants strength up bonus to start battle. Increases the damage of the first strike of a battle. Increase, oh, increases movement speed, yeah. Increases physical damage taken. All stats up above the start of the battle with high level monsters. Oh, wow, cool. By the way, you guys mentioned that apparently Naked Dunban, um, to really make him viable, I really do need Melia's skill, which, oh my god, she's already maxed her thing out. Holy crap, that was fast. So this skill right here, which unfortunately, he needs to, oh, oh, he's bonded with her enough. Oh my god. All right, guys, you know what that means. It's time for Naked Dunban 2.0. Let's try that shit again. God, Dunban's already fucking friends with everybody. <laughs> Except Shala, <laughs> again. Shala is friends with no one. Poor Shala. Oh yeah, I can actually see it too. So like, I have a gym equipped. Look at all that, that stuff go down. But then I take it off and booyah! <laughs> uh, power! God, even his HP goes up a shit ton. Wow, his stats really go up a lot. Oh my God, yes. I've been waiting for this moment. Naked Dunban, best Dunban. Oh, by the way, you guys pointed out also, the reason why I was struggling against that one enemy, the, the draft enemy that was a, a named one that I needed to defeat for uh, one of the missions back in Sword Valley, uh, was because he was actually had spike damage. So he was doing so much damage to me because I every time I attacked him, he reflected it back on me. So I, I gotta remember to use skills like uh, Shulk's, uh, the purge skill to get rid of that. Okay, was there an icon or something that indicates that that's what they're doing? I I didn't notice. I'm sure there is. I just need to pay more attention. Oh, hey, this is a new one. Reduces cooldown of all arts except drive boost. Wow, that's actually kind of awesome. 
I think. Oh, and I even... Oh, that's... No, that's that's good. That's really good for her. Chris, how long it lasts? How much it reduces the cooldown? Yeah, that's definitely something for her. Something that we want for her. Heart to heart. Fjorn Shala. But Sha Shala can make some freaking friends. Oh, Raz Ket. Rat Rack Zet. I risk my life to save people. I don't know how many I've saved. I know it's better to try to let, let them slip away. What do you need? No two harms a while ago. Did a really good job on them. Still living here. It's good to see them doing well. Nada. We're back. I finished looking around the village. I'll answer your questions. Where should I start? Wait, right, hold on. Hold on. Can I go in here? Uh, I must know. I must listen to her first. Okay. Fine. Tell me what the hell's going on. So, are you Mekon? In one sense we are, and in another we are not. It is a fact that the weapons you call the Mekon were created by our civilization. However, we were born from the Mekonis. By your understanding, it would be correct to say that we are the same as Mekon. A form of mechanical life born of the Mekonis. Is that correct? From our perspective, you are forms of organic life born of the Bionis. Life born of the Mekonis. So there is life here, just like on Bionis. Explain to us why you invaded our world. What did we ever do to you? I understand your feelings, but please, there is much yet to tell you. Dunban, please hear her out. But... These Machina, they're good people. Fiora? You do not look fully functional. Ever since she was given this body, she hasn't been feeling too good. But we honestly don't know what to do. Do you mean to tell me you are not Machina? W why didn't you tell me sooner? I am Harmonica. Harmonica! I'm okay. Really. Nonsense. I am a doctor. Do not worry. I'm a doctor! I specialize in people in your... situation. Just as I thought, you were transformed into a face unit. You are experiencing a functional breakdown in multiple locations. Oh. Hmm, okay. It's getting intriguing. I will take her to my laboratory. The boy, Chief I? will answer your questions. He is waiting for you in junks. For us? We will speak later. Shulk, I'm... Fiora. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye on her. Thanks. Okay. It's cool that she has uh, an additional movement upgrade thing, though. That means that, uh... More... More like I could probably stack down the one I've got, right? In addition to the quick step gems and the one I got from Ricky, means I can go e uh, even faster. Need more speed. Oh, wait, what happened? She says something different. Oh wait, unyielding husband. Oh, that, no, that was a new guy I hadn't come across yet. I thought I had already. I've been arguing for a few years now. She's free to admit that she's in the wrong. She gave in now so we can put this argument behind us. Yes. Well, glad to see that we are not so different, are we? Um. I have a son who is suffering from a strange condition. He's just stopped growing. It's like he's stuck in a child body. It's like it's nothing in front of me, but I know it's bothering him. Veronic. It doesn't matter to me that my son stopped growing. He'll always be my baby. It's not what on the what's on the outside that matters. It's what's on the inside. Aleko, I got a lot of name people here. I have a little sister, you know. We're close. We even help each other out with work. I bet you don't know any sisters that are as close as we are. Well, Wrong. Instead so of keeping an eye out for useful-looking things, I can use something. I could bring it home. Mr. Omendon, you make it usable. Such a good idea. I don't think I'll ever stop doing it. Ever. Oh, okay. I actually can't go in here now. Huh. Whoa. Massive. That's a big fat mech on. <laughs> ah! I get a kick out of seeing people's faces every time. <laughs> <laughs> Jabba the Mechon! We were told that you were waiting for us. That's right. I've been waiting a long time. Waiting for you to accept my request. Request? But first, let me ask. The sword the young man is holding... Is that the Monado? It is. And the destruction of the fortress on the sword... Was that your lot's doing? Yes. Although unfortunately we were unable to stop Egil. Egil? Do you know him? 
He claims to be the leader of Maconis. This Agil that you fought is one of our people. He's my son. Your son? Oh. Actually, my request is about him as well. Ah. I want you to kill Agil. Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, we were planning to do that anyway, so... Oh, well, great. Oh, okay. That was a lot of cutscenes. Well, you, you know, I... I don't think we're quite far enough into this episode yet, so let's keep going. Meanwhile, back at Alchemoth... Dixon round up all the Homs. Dearest Homs and Nopon representatives, my humble gratitude for accepting our invitation. I am Kalyan Antiqua, regent of the High Entia. We all know who you are. You High Entia have kept yourselves safe, remaining spectators to our destruction. Why call upon us now? As stated in my invitation, it is our intention to form an allied force from the peoples of Bionis, with which we will confront Mekonis. <laughs> Look at you. One little scratch and you're already crying for help. I cannot deny this. The attack did serve as the catalyst. But the fact remains that things have changed. When we needed help at the Battle of Sword Valley, our cries were ignored. Give me one good reason why we should bother. Ah. I understand your anger. Our selfishness was inexcusable. Damn. Gandhi, you savage as shit. However, please hear what I have to say. Listen to why our stance has changed. <laughs> Stop talking if you like, but no promises we'll stick around to the end. We High Entia were mistaken. We believed that if we were attacked by the Mekon, our power alone could repel them. But a brave group of young heroes showed us the error of our ways. Wielding a magic sword. Upon Aerith Sea, Shulk fought with a courage I have never seen. I was most surprised to see that this group was comprised of different races. Homs, Nopon, High Entia. Although different, they trusted one another as friends. As just one inhabitant of Bionis, I desired to... No. I felt compelled to become strong like them. Mm. Their strength came from the Monado. Bravery only gets you so far in this world. Then you will not join us? Hold your horses, son. I said they didn't win with bravery alone, but they wouldn't have got far without it. All right, you can count on our help. The Nopon will join too. The Hom Hom and Bird people are friends of the Nopon. We will fight together. <laughs> Thank you, Cotton Candy Man. Dixon, are you leaving? Yeah. It's just I felt this sudden pain in the neck. Is that your response? Don't go jumping the gun there, Prince. I'll leave the colony's forces with old Atharon here. You can use them however you want. I've got somewhere I need to be. Might I ask where? A battle's more than just a head-on assault. The sooner you realize that, the better. I better go and remind Shulk and all. So you know of their whereabouts? I told you. I've got a pretty good idea. Dixon! Yeah? If you should meet Shulk... What? I have something I want you to tell him. Dixon, how the fuck are you gonna get over here? I still don't even figure out how we got over here and didn't die. I mean, I guess we landed on the hand or something, but... How did that not kill us? That's some soft ass ground they you got. You want us to kill your son? That is no small request. Anyway, don't worry, it's a bit of a prick, really. It seems like Eggle is sort of like like a like a rogue a rogue faction in in this group of the Mechonis. There are hardly any of us Machina left on Mechonis. Back when the Bionis and the Mechonis were fighting, the Bionis almost completely wiped us out. I suppose the Bionis just didn't want us around. Lady Maynath fought the Bionis for us. In the end, oh. the two titans wounded each other and entered a deep slumber. Who was Lady Maynath? 
The creator of Mekonis. You could say that she is the Mekonis itself. Oh. It's all like you saw all this. Ain't this all just an ancient myth? <laughs> I know I look young, but I'm actually quite old. I saw the whole thing with my own eyes. You can't be serious. The people of Mekonis must have a longer lifespan. Just like we high end here live far longer than Homs. I get that. But he can't have lived that long. But why do you want your son dead? From what you've told us, I would have thought you'd want us to destroy the Bionis rather than kill your own son. Agil was a brilliant young man. Clever, strong, and kind to the less able. But he never forgave the Bionis for what it did. And he swore to take revenge. So he wants to do to us what the Bionis did to the Machina? Correct. Agil is trying to eradicate all innocent life on Bionis. So this Lady Maineth is the one that's inside of Fiora right now, right? And so she was the one that was controlling the Mechanis and fighting the Bionis, I guess? She has to be stopped. Didn't you ever try to stop him? We tried once. A lot of people were killed. He's blinded by revenge. Even Lady Maineth herself couldn't convince him to stop. Where is Egil now? Most likely the Mechanis capital. He's trying to restore its former glory all by himself. I feel sorry for him. Oi! What are you talking about? Did you forget what he did to us? I haven't forgotten or forgiven, but Egil's clearly suffered a lot in his life. You don't feel any sympathy at all? All I know is this stinks. Who cares what he's been through? Rhine. I understand about Egil, but why us? You should be aware that Shulk's sword, the Monado, has the power to destroy Mekonis weaponry. It's said that it was once the sword of the Bionis. Doesn't the very sight of it make you quiver? Zanza. Huh? Oh, just talking to myself. If you're gonna kill Egil, you'll need all of that sword's power. That's how strong Egil is. But enough talk. You must be tired. Take your time and think it over. Until the young lady's treatment is finished, Feel free to spend time in our village. <laughs> we don't have any food here. Just lots of water. She has done well to survive such injury. What do you mean? Is she sick? Since you seem to have knowledge of Homs medicine, I'll explain it like this. I'm afraid she's had several of her organs removed. Am I Ooh. correct in assuming she was configured to operate inside a Mechon? That's right. She has been transformed into a Mechon's central nerve unit. Her blood oh. can now circulate through a Mechon's components. How? I believe her immune system is now configured for compatibility with the Mechon. That's why her strength has depleted. But you can treat her, can't you? Please. Of course. Even as a Mechon doctor, I cannot turn a blind eye to this butchery. With our equipment, she will regain her strength, but she will be stuck with this body. I cannot restore her flesh and blood, Hom's body. That's okay. I don't want to be a burden to Shulk. I don't care if I have a machine body. Just make it so I can fight beside him. Fiora, leave it to me. If that Aww. is your wish, I'll do my best. Fiora's such a little honey bun. Hey, baby cakes. You doing okay? I must implant a new circulation system for her immune functions. Your head looks kind of like an insect or something. But we have one problem. A problem? Do we need the 35 hoodly doodlies or something? I don't have a piezoelectric unit. I knew it! Which is required to control such a system. As long as she remains on this bed, the life support machine can compensate. But to move around freely, she must have the piezoelectric unit. The same unit is used in Mechon, so if you were to find some Mechon parts... But where? Well, outside of the village at the base of Digit 5, there's a beach. Debris from above washes ashore there. You might be able to find one among the Mechon wreckage. We'll take a look. The beach at the base of Digit 5, right? Yes. It gives off a faint red glow, so it might be easier to find at night. Okay. So all right, all my quest items give off a faint red glow. 
All right. Full attack. Fior and Dunban. Fior, you can't die here. We need you so we, so we can do all those other hot to hearts we have. Actually, now I'm wondering, are all these filled out now? Oh, they are. Oh, wait. No, except for that one. And that one. Those are probably like after, yeah. Oh, no, there's quite a few. After story events have unfolded. More story events. I will say, I like how the, the boxes to the left are uh, darkened when you, it shows that, hey, you can't actually do these now. I've got quite a few that I can do. Dumbad and Fiora. Ball attack. May I take a moment of your time? I think to ask you. Lich is in grave danger. It doesn't sound good. I got attacked on a so almost daily basis. I've become highly active since the Eglin launched the evasion. It's been seri it's a dramatic rise in serious casualties sustained. As a result, our medicine supplies are almost entirely depleted. The medicine's ingredients can only be collected outside. It really help if someone could collect them for us. Collect five lots of crabble dabbles from the Oros on the Von Arm. Okay. Thank you ever so much. It's a great deed you have agreed to, to do for our people. I'll do everything in my power to kick monkey ass! Thanks, other Wafu. <laughs> Who was standing down here the whole time? So you guys told me, okay, can I actually get out of here? Can I think about it? We're kind of stuck here. No, I can't. I can get out of here whenever I want. But apparently there's a quest here, and I'm guessing it must be timed or something that is only available at two stars, and it's really important to get. So, okay. I feel like at some point these guys have been dropping me, like, generic quests, right? Oh, Rosaka. She got one for me now. Oh, no. What can I do? It's so embarrassing. I can stand here all day. Seems like you've got a problem. Hit up on fix the problem. So did you hear me speaking to myself here? I'm supposed to stop one hiding it. It's my house door. It's broken. It's casting to open it. I'll kick it back inside. Pretty good at fixing, but I've got the parts I needed. Okay, what? What do you need? Oh my god, a million things. Really? Thank God! Fixing a broken door. These are some intense quests we got here. Two, five digital filaments and two dated frames. At least, at least these don't seem to be timed. Hey, do you have a minute to talk to you? I've got this problem, you see. Do you know what I'm talking about? How would I know what you're talking about? You haven't told me anything yet. Okay, here's the thing. It's my job to collect spring water from Zack's spring. Though I've been hearing these weird noises from around there. It's screaming me out so badly, I was scared to do my job. Now that silver mechon fell onto the beach recently. Yes, that was my best friend. It's like the creepy noise is coming from that. I'm scared to investigate. Uh, okay. If it is the silver face making that noise, we can't ignore it. It's scaring the villagers, so we have to go out and sh go and check it out. It's out of the silver face? Well, whatever. I just need you to find what it's making the noise. Uh, okay. Great, that's the spirit. Oh, hey, there's a Homs. Yes. Na Natalia. What am I going to do? I really am going to get it to him. Hey, maybe you can help. I don't need to be a burden, but I need some help here. You get food to the villagers keeping watch outside the village. I've been feeling well lately, and I can't bring myself to go out. Look forward to me taking, taking them their meals every day. If someone else could take the meals to them for me, then everyone would be happy. I can understand how you feel. We could deliver the food to them on your behalf. You should not overexert yourself if you are feeling out of sorts. That's so sweet of you to say. I think I'll take you up on your kind offer. Take the food to Theo, who is at the base of Digit 2. Okay. Take the food for me. I'm so grateful. Box I'll never meal. get used to this feeling. Never get used to this feeling, this power! Friend of the world. I'm a friend of everyone. Carlos. Oh, another Homs. I remember that I fell from the sword. When I woke up, I was here. So why can I help me out? So those are the two Homs that other guy mentioned before, I guess. War survivor. How's it going? Must have survived incredibly lucky to be incredibly lucky to survive a fall like that. Yes, you and everyone else. And I guess some of the people I was with didn't make it. Just haven't been as lucky as I was. <laughs> Mi mix it. Mom and Dad always fighting. They used to do everything together, but not now. They'd be lucky to sit in the same room. Is, he, is that like a little kid floating around that thing? Hates arguments. I think it is. Precious keeps it broken now. They won't stop fighting. Who will get fixed? Well, I can do it. But you're not quite capable enough yet. Must progress further. Hey, can you open this door that's right here? This door is locked shut. Stop anything from, ex from messing with the ether exhaust system. Oh, for God's sakes, all right. Well, that would get me right where I need to go. Quo, qu yes. quaferia. Qu quaferia. I'm sorry to think my daughter is avoiding me. She speak. I always come and give me a kiss before she's going to sleep. Now she gets in recharging hanger without a word. Oh dear, I know. I hate when that happens. 
So much for child stop being on a parent, but I'm worried it's because I'm fighting with her father. Ah, okay, we were talking to her earlier, I believe. I'm surprised I didn't see any generic uh, quests in there. I need to get Fiora up and up running first. Giant mech on debris, look at this thing. Please don't come to life. I don't need that, all right, in my life right now. Watch out for the pterodactyl. Digit one. Fiora Melia. Oh man, we got a tough guy up there. Powerful El Ligos. Yeah, let's not fuck with that guy. I just want the heart to hearts. I'll be on my merry way now, thank you. How am I gonna get over there? Digit one crevice, oh boy. How do I get on top of this thing? Oh wait, I think I see a beach over there. Here we are. Digit five beach. Ricky want to be even stronger. Black wreckage. Uh, oh. Is that? Is that metal face? Oh, it, oh, it is. There's his face right there. Yup, that is metal face. What's left of him? Oh, this has gotta be a dumb band one, right? Oh yeah, dumb band and Melia probably talks about Mum Car, his old piece of shit friend. Okay, here we are. God damn it! Fuck off! All right, Pio's electric unit. Electric unit. Okay. If you have to never see you again. We'll get better, aren't you? Come on, talk to her. There we go. How'd it go? Did you find the unit? Yes, dude. Work your magic. Robot doctor. I think we found it. Is this the Paizo electric unit? Yes, that's it. Well done. Leonardo. Will Fiora be okay now? She'll be fine. It will just take me a little time to reconfigure and install the unit. Leave it to me. You get some rest. But... Shulk, do you want her to see you looking exhausted when she wakes up? You're right. I'll try and get some rest. Thank you for everything you're doing. Save your energy for uh, the sweet the way, lovemaking later. Yes. The chief says he wants to speak with you. I think it's about Egil. I'll go and see him. He wants Egil stopped. And so do we. But I need to sleep on it. Good. You mustn't overburden yourself. We will help you in any way we can. Thank you. Have you guys killed my son yet? Jeez, it's been for like five minutes, come on. Um... How are you? Sleep well? Yes, very well. I wanted to, uh... Um... Talk about your son. Have you made up your mind? Yes, we agree with you. Egil must be stopped, but we can't act now. No? Why is that? Before we came here, we heard of plans to form an allied force on Bionis. Any day now, they're going to launch an attack on Mechonis. But it's too dangerous. Egil has made a weapon that could kill us all. The weapon that Mumkar was using? The one that shoots green fluid? He said it can decompose any being from Bionis. We have to go back and warn them, before it's too late. Hey, well, Dixon's here. You could always ask me to do it. Dixon, what are you doing here? How did you get here? <laughs> How do we even get out of here, I honestly? Believe you found us. Why? This place is directly below the fortress. If you fell from up there, I figured you must have ended up here. And Bob's your uncle. <laughs> you're looking well, Dixon. Ah, I see you're looking like your usual old self. You know each other. Kinda. <laughs> I scratch his back. He scratches mine. He tells us about the outside world, and we give him technology and information. Why did you keep that to yourself? That information is vital to all who fight Maconis. Not all of us Homs are good people. What would happen if the Maconis hating types found this place? These Machina cut themselves off from the world to get away from pointless fighting. So they escaped to live in peace. Somewhere they wouldn't be seen. Makes sense. Clever little crown princess, ain't ya? So this Clever is where girl. you obtained all that stuff you brought back to Colony 9. Yeah, all the, the mech on wheeling from. stuff. I thought it was fine as long as it helped Shulk out at the lab. I guess the secret's out now. So, that weapon. How dangerous are we talking about? I haven't discovered why, but 
It disintegrates anything it touches, but only if it's living tissue from Bionis. Hmm. Bet that would come in handy. Dixon. I'm only joking. Anyway, for now, just don't let any of it touch you. I'll come up with something to counter it. Leave it with me and I'll keep you posted. You lot go and take care of that eagle or whatever his name is. If you take him down, the Allied force might not even be needed. Okay. Let me think about it for a bit. Yeah, tell me... Or just tell me something that Callion told you. Dixon? Fiora. <laughs> we see Melia peeking at them from the railing. God damn it! That bitch is dead! Ain't made your mind up yet. Dixon, listen. Dumban told me all about it. The goal of your mission. So, you wanted to avenge Fiora? Yes. But you found her alive. And now you've got her back. So, you're all done now, ain't you? <sighs> what are you fighting for, Dixon? Me? He just gets right under my skin. That Egil guy. Because he's trying to exterminate the Homs? There's that. But that ain't everything. It's his hatred for the Bionis. Or more like his aim to wipe out everything that lives on the Bionis. <sighs> I'll tell you one thing. That Bionis allied force is coming together quicker than I thought. Really? Yep. That high end tier prince is really moving things along. Will they launch an attack on Maconis? Of course. But it looks like the prince has got another plan. He gave me a message for you. Oh, here when we the go. Allied force attacks Meconis, you don't need to join the fight. He wants you to take advantage of the chaos and do what it is you need to do. Prince Callian said that. I was pretty surprised too. He looks like a sissy, but he's got guts. Yeah. I think that's the type of man he is. So what are you gonna do? He wanted me to let him know. We're going to the Meconis capital. You're gonna take down Egil? I don't know. I can't forgive the Mekon for what they've done. But after listening to Mikol, I think there might be another way. You're too soft. Do you really think that? Too right. He's the self-proclaimed leader of Mekonis. I heard about what he did to the Monado. If you face him, it might get eaten up. But you have to throw everything at him. Even if there's only a slim chance of winning. Hesitate for one second, and you're a goner. We won't let Shulk die. Not ever. Oh! If you are lives. Laura, are you okay to be walking around? Yep. I have to hand it to her. That Lenarda's pretty good. And not just with machines. She's also quite familiar with organic physiology. You went to get the things she needed to cure me, right? I'm sorry I caused all this hassle. But I'm fine now. I'll be by your side, fighting to protect you. Hell yeah, girl. No matter where we go, no matter how difficult it gets, Shulk will do the right thing. It doesn't matter how slim our chances. Shulk will always stick to the right path. And don't forget, it's because of Shulk that we are all here, fighting together. I think that shows he has a strong character. Am I wrong, Dixon? Listen well, to Naked Done Bad. Everything you lot have done, I can't deny that. Dixon, we're going to the Maconis capital. About the Allied force. Yeah, leave it to me. I ain't gonna let anything happen to the colony. Those Mekon won't get away with anything else. Hmm. We're gonna, we're gonna go and fight with them, but the real enemy, right, is, I think, just waiting for that to happen. Going? 
And I think yes. Dixon might be a part of it, no, thank unfortunately. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> you might run into someone called Venea in the capital. Just mention my name, she'll lend a hand. Venea? Is she a machina as well? She's my daughter. She won't be far from Egil. Hold on. You mean she's Egil's sister? You've got it, lad. And you say she'll help us? The girl doesn't want to hurt Egil, but she doesn't like what he's doing. She should be a big help to you, young'uns. I don't know why she'd help us, but we'll try and find her when we get there. <laughs> Good luck. Fiora, don't forget. I've only made temporary repairs. I think you should be able to fight, but don't overdo it. Come and see me the moment you experience any further system failure. I will. Thank you. In the meantime, I'm hoping I'll find a way to restore your former body. Is that possible? Theoretically, it might be possible to use your genetic information to regenerate your missing organs. Sorry, it's unfair for me to give you hope. To be honest, there's very little chance. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Lenardo, you've got to do this. Do this for shock. Babies need to be made. Yes. If there's even the slightest possibility, I'll have to try. Thank you, Leonardo. Fiora. <laughs> Don't make that face. Okay, let's go. Oh, dumb baby. Off you go, or, kid. Di or Dixon being sneaky. You and the Monado. Don't let me down, Shulk. Yeah. I don't know. I think this is. He's doing some. I think some not good shit. Uh oh. Meanwhile. Oh, is that what Eggle really looks like? It's like his true form. Why did that face betray me? Yeah. And that light. No. That is not possible. It must have been remnants of memories from her former life that made me lose control. Memories. Whoa. They are what limited the potential of Metal Face as well. I now know that I must erase every last trace of what they once were. All my servants need is the instinct to fight. This Homs female. Uh oh. She was with the boy who wields the Monado. A light of her memory. It shines strongly in this one. Bring me face 20814. Oh no. It's so gonna it be is this male. Yeah. It's gonna be Galdo, isn't it? I fucking bet. The boy shook. Remains a thorn in my side. I will enjoy watching my minion crush him. Be still, my servant. I see that your memories cause you much suffering. Yeah. Totally. Try to use that against us. No! Ooh, we had a lot of cutscenes this episode. Thought it'd be an episode where we'd be focusing on a lot of side quests, but it's really lots of story. Shulk. Take this. What is it? There's a path leading from the base of Digit 2 to the foot of the Mechonis. This is the security key to the door that seals the path. We who live in the village don't have any need for it, but it will be invaluable to you. We're in your debt, Linada. Shulk, Fiora, take care in your journey. We will. Linada, thank you for everything. All right. Yeah, so I do not see any generic sacros here. It seems unusual. But anyway, guys, this seems like a good place in things here for now. I imagine next episode I'll probably be jumping into some side quests. Uh, just because you guys said apparently a lot of things start getting locked out at this point. Um, I am going to do my best to uh, try to get some of these uh, side quest uh, objectives just finished off screen. Um, not complete them, but just, just get them done. 
Uh, I don't know if I really have any more generics that I haven't finished already. Oh, wait, no, I do. I have a few here on Balak Mountain. But I may get those out of the way and try to get just, like, some of these objectives that aren't at least terribly interesting. You know, like, just collect, you know, ten or nine golden bugs or whatever. Nine, yeah. God, what the fuck? Why is it be nine caterpillars? That's fucking insane. Also, as you guys tell me, apparently, that a lot of things are needed for, uh, it, that are in Sword Valley and Galhav Fortress, that which get locked off, are things that you need for colony six and I, I remember finding an item there that uh where they said that so real quick i just kind of want to see if is there anything i could upgrade uh, nope nothing at the moment anyway i hope you all enjoyed this episode if you did please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe if you're not already gum picky penguin or this will be where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny and just because this is a new thing i'm just i'm just going to mention this now i've already mentioned it once in kwame too and then i won't mention it again for a while but I have started a Patreon if you would like to help support this channel and uh, help me bring you guys uh, even better content. Please check it out. Even just a dollar goes a long way to, to helping me out. Anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy. <laughs> this is what Bernie likes to do when she hasn't seen me in a while. I, if I sit down on the floor with her, she'll jump on top of me and then just sit on me. <laughs> It's no oh good. Ah! <laughs> and then she'll, she'll tag my face. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bernie! Bernie! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And then she goes back to her spot over right here. <laughs> I'm just so happy to see you. <laughs> ah! Yes, you got the bone. I can't even tell if the camera's pointed at me right now or not. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my ear. No. Thank you, sweetheart. I, I, I don't even know. I would have to go back and play it and see if this video is important to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is, where, this is where Google Glasses would be a lot more convenient, you know, Bernie? Let me see, just from my perspective. Oh, goodness. I know you got me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, play with me, don't you go? Play with me, I'm gonna get down.